So another day has passed and another Super Mario Odyssey review has come out. This from Japanese publication Famitsu. Now there's a lot of people that don't necessarily trust Famitsu when it comes to review scores anymore because a lot of the review scores are generally between a 35 and a 40. But it is interesting noting this because right now Super Mario Odyssey is tied for their best ever rating of a Mario game. So... What, how Famitsu does things is they have four separate people review the game. And then they put those reviews together, and they're based out of 10. They add it, and you end up with a final score out of 40. So what happened is three of the reviewers gave Super Mario Odyssey a perfect 10, while one reviewer gave it a 9 out of 10, for a total cumulative score of 39 out of 40. And to put this in perspective, Breath of the Wild actually got a 40 out of 40, uh, for some reason, th there's actually quite a few Zelda games that have gotten a 40 out of 40. So Famitsu, the reviewers at least that work there, really love the Zelda series, clearly. Uh, but what's interesting is no Mario game has ever gotten a perfect score. So 39 out of 40 is actually the, like, the highest praise a Mario game has ever gotten from them. And the only other Mario game that came close, or I should say literally identically tied it, was Super Mario 64, which also tallied a 39 out of 40. That means that they put Super Mario Odyssey as on par, if not maybe slightly better than, Super Mario 64. Uh, in fact, here's a listing of all of their titles. Now you'll notice uh, that interestingly enough, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is actually one of the lower rated 3D Mario games ever released. And a lot of people think that Super Mario Galaxy 2 is better than the original Super Mario Galaxy. But hey, you know what? Opinions, subjectiveness, it all happens. We all have our own situations. But this is interesting now because not only has Super Mario Odyssey gotten you know, the highest praise a Mario game has ever gotten from Famitsu Magazine, it's also got a perfect 10 from Edge, as we reported earlier in a video you could check up in the right corner. So... This is just a really interesting thing to me that Super Mario Odyssey, two reviews in, is really sitting at the top of the heap, at least when it comes to Mario games. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be interested to see if this holds up once we get uh, more reviews. Obviously, I couldn't read the Famitsu reviews, so I don't know what they, you know, if there's anything in the text of the review uh, that I would want to highlight, because it's in Japanese, but it's still really interesting. Uh, this also brings up a grander point of, you know, do review scores matter? Certainly Nintendo thinks they matter, and the review scores of Breath of the Wild earlier this year clearly helped drive the hype and the continued sales of Breath of the Wild, even to this very day. So... It'll be interesting to see if Super Mario Odyssey can keep up its torrid pace of scores so far. I know it's just two, but they're big ones. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess the question I'm going to throw at you guys is, do you think Super Mario Odyssey is going to score as well as Zelda? Now, Zelda was interesting because Breath of the Wild got a ton of perfect scores. And I don't know if Super Mario Odyssey can honestly match the total perfect scores that Breath of the Wild got. But Breath of the Wild also had a handful of lower scores. We're, we're talking 7s uh, out of 10. And while you might disagree with that, there's plenty of people that do agree with that kind of scoring. And it'll be interesting to see if while Mar Super Mario Odyssey might not get as many perfect 10s, it also it might have less low scores. And if it has less low scores, uh, potentially it could end up higher rated than Breath of the Wild. I know this is all like way speculation on subjective opinions, and none of it really matters. Honestly, uh, you know, pick a reviewer you trust. Uh, if you're not sure if you want to buy the game, pick the reviewer you trust, see what they have to say about it, and make your purchasing decision then. But I'm obviously getting Super Mario Odyssey. We're giving away a copy of Super Mario Odyssey. There's a link to that giveaway down in the description below. Just as a reminder, I'm sure most of you guys by now have already entered. We have over 4,000 entries, which is just awesome. I'm, I'm glad to see so many people excited for Super Mario Odyssey. But yeah, let me know. Uh, do, do you think review scores matter in today's day and age? Clearly, they you know they still matter for sales. Uh, but do they matter to you? and Or is it the content of a review that matters more? Because obviously, I can't give you the content of Femitz's review. Uh, I can only tell you what they scored it. And just to let you guys know, I will not be reviewing Super Mario Odyssey. I know some of you guys like my Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle review, which you can also check up in the top right corner. But I decided that... Game reviews are something I really enjoy doing. There's a lot of people that actually liked my take on Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, and they also liked some of my prior product reviews, like the Rav Power review, 
um, and some other reviews that I've done of products. But the thing is, is reviewing games in comparison to reviewing products. Oh, that Rav Power review, that took a long time. Um, so many scenarios I wanted to test those bad boys in, and they were some big battery banks. Uh, so it took a long time to test. But to look at things, you know, as objectively as possible. Um, and here's the thing. I don't think game reviews can actually be objective. I think the whole purpose of a game review is to be subjective. I think tech analysis is something that can be objective, but uh, that's what you turn to digital foundry for. We don't do tech analysis here. So I decided game reviews are going to be part of our Patreon. And I understand that uh, some people don't like that, but we have a stretch goal on Patreon of $300 per month for game reviews. And I'm doing this on purpose because I really just want... <clears throat> I'm doing this on purpose because game reviews take a long time. Uh, there are you know at least 100 hours sunk into a game review. And it's not just playing the game, right? You know, Say Super Mario Odyssey. Say I only need to play 40 hours of Super Mario Odyssey, in my opinion, to properly uh, review the game. Even if I don't beat it, which I probably would beat it in that time. But you know what I mean. Uh, even if I don't 100% the game. But that doesn't include the time it takes to take notes. That doesn't include the time it takes to write up the review. That doesn't include the time it takes to edit the review. Heck, that doesn't even include the time it takes to record footage, which I might have to do after the fact uh, in replaying the game, which could add more time because I didn't want to necessarily uh, record footage while playing it for review purposes in case... Um, in I just don't have space, right? If I if I just recorded my entire playthrough of Super Mario Odyssey from day one, I would be in I'd be screwed if I'm being honest. So it's just something to think about uh, how much time it takes for me to create a review. And like our, our review of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle only had about thirteen hundred views. I'm sure Super Mario Odyssey would probably get two to three thousand, if not more. But while I love doing game reviews, they are so time-consuming that it's hard for me to justify setting time aside. But if we can hit that $300 stretch goal, uh, 200 of it, which goes towards game reviews, it makes me realize, you know what, game reviews are worth it. Now, we would only review one game per month to start uh, until we get into a better flow, and then maybe there'll be more than one review per month. But uh, you guys would be able to select which game we review every single month. Uh, I don't know if I'd open it up to a public or just Patreon backers yet, but... Yeah, it's something that I love doing, I want to do, and maybe someday I'll do it on my own regardless of what we get on Patreon. But if you guys would like to see me review games like Super Mario Odyssey and stuff, please head on over to patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. Show some love, for, even for as little as a dollar a month. I mean, we get thousands of views on our videos. Literally, if 200 of you would just give a dollar, even less than 200, I think at this point, we would be at our stretch goal and you would get game reviews. So, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffelchance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.